Coming up next, my three favorite fig perfumes. One of my absolute favorite smells in the world. I use it for, for perfume, I use it for room spray, candles, just can't get enough of that smell. Find out what they are coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose and I'm wearing a green shirt today because I'm discussing fig, fig perfumes in particular, my three favorite that I highly recommend if you want to try a wonderful fig fragrance. Got my animals walking around, got my cat here, my dog, so excuse the noise. Let's go, coming in at number three from of course my favorite local indie perfumer, Therapia by Aroma, of course, Irene, the perfumer, the owner of the brand, and this is her wonderful, masterful creation, Fig Confit, which means candied fig. So this is similar to what will be my other favorite fragrance today. I'm sorry, but my cat again is jumping all over my table here. Um, fig Confit is, I have this for the room spray also, actually, she has a regular room spray, but I spray this one a lot too. Um, you can see, by the way, I'm almost completely out of this, so I'm gonna have to get a new one. <sighs> it is the perfect description. Candied fig. This is a sweet fig. One of the other ones, my next one's gonna be more of a fig that is more herbaceous, more uh, you know, more smells more like a wild fig to me. This is more of a sweet, elegant fig. Uh, I've given this out to my ex-girlfriend who it smelled wonderful on. This is a beautiful fragrance for both men and women. I can just sit and bask in it all day as I'm sitting and working. All these three fragrances, by the way, are three of my favorites for when you're just sitting, working at your desk or whatever you're doing, and you're letting that smell, that aroma, just kind of go all around your head as it, as it just kind of I don't know, creates that almost perfume helmet. I love that. Where that's why I put it all around my neck on both sides. So I, no matter which way I'm turning, I'm always smelling it. But fig confit. What makes this one especially stand out for those of you who already know Therapia by Aroma, based here in Miami, originally from France. It is a 30 ml bottle is $15. 100 ml bottle, $25. I believe it's free shipping also. Uh, it's always best to go in store if you can. I know not everyone's from Miami, but boy, it's such a treat and such a pleasure to go there and see what they have. Uh, Fig Confit, um, you may have to call there. I don't even know if it's available on the website. A lot of the stuff, because they have so many perfumes that she makes, it's not all available on the website, so you may have to call to find out. But there you go, my number three favorite Fig perfume. That's gonna lead me now to number two, one of the all-time classics, if not the most classic fig perfume. Of course, I'm talking about Philosikos. Philosikos from Diptyque. And this one is, oof, this is fig, 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 unless the light comes back out. <laughs> um, this is fig, fig, fig. Uh, this is fig at the top. I believe it's actually fig leaf at the top along with just the regular fig of fruit. So you get just a dose. But again, this one is a more green fig where fig confit is more of a sweet candied fig. This is a raw fig. This reminds me of cutting open a fig tree branch and just smelling the oozing sap or fig that would come out of it, or maybe crunching up a bunch of leaves and muddling it around and smelling it. It just, so natural, so fresh. By the way, this is the Eau de Toilette, the EDT. There is an EDP version. Um, I frankly prefer this one just because it's the original and a lot of times like, I just like the originals better than variations of the original or flankers. But uh, this, is, it, this is just, it's so good. Again, you've got that fig leaf at the top which gives it that really green, herbaceous, tree-like smell but it also has green notes in the middle and coconut. So it gives it somewhat of a smoothing, almost creamy texture to it. So it's not just like pure green, like over the top vegetal smell. It is 
anchored by that coconut and that creaminess. And then you have at the bottom, the actual fig tree notes. You have fig leaf and fig at the top, then you have some coconut in the heart, and then you have the fig tree at the bottom. I love just, I don't know, I love these bottles by the way too. Um, and it also has uh, in the base, a nice dry down of some cedar. Let me just show you by the way, one of the, the back, if you've never seen the back of these diptyque bottles, they have actual drawings on the back side of the label. So woody notes, cedar, really, really nice, simple, but yet still complex dry down because it's got all that fig, but then you have that woodiness. This is again because of the woodiness and the greenness. This is more of a, again, I say like a, a outdoorsy kind of fig smell versus the fig confit. That's my number two though. And this by many people's account is probably one of the, if not best fig fragrance of all time but I'm gonna go with my new number one. And this came out in the last year, like end of 2022. I just got it uh, here this year. It's one of my favorite absolute additions to my collection this year in 2023. Probably, arguably, maybe my best edition in the first six months of this year. Uh, up there, definitely in the top three. I may do another video on that. And that is Figure Noir. Figure Noir from, of course, Ubacant Paris. Ubacant, one of the legendary French houses. Uh, their bottles are so classic, has that lattice work. This is all glass. Uh, you got the lattice work from the glass. You have the glass, you have the lattice work also on the top of the cap. You can see it there. Uh, just really good. This thing is like a little lead weapon. <laughs> I know I'm talking about the bottle a little bit, but I really do love their bottles. It's, it's very simple, but classic and elegant. Really kind of just beautiful, beautiful uh, work. But we're here for the juice. And this juice, oh, let me just spray it. In fact, I'm gonna put it, oh boy. I'm just gonna put it on my hand right now. This one like the other, so this has fig leaf at the top, kind of like um, Philosophos does. But then it's got this really spiciness of, of cardamom. Um, I believe it's got cloves, which gives it a little bit of a, a savoriness to it. So right off the bat, this is completely unique. It's so different. All three of these, although fig based are all different because fig confit is such a sweet candied fig. Um, this is like a dark fig. Obviously fig noir means, I believe, you know, dark, essentially it's, it's you know, dark fig or something to do with the, obviously the, the fig being dark. But this is, it evokes a little bit of that kind of sexy smell of the power perfumes of the 80s, which you all know I like so much, which was kind of one of my inspirations for Super Suave. So it has that, um, and it has something called black fig, which I've never really smelled before. So you not only have fig leaf at the top, but you have black fig in the heart. And then I believe at the bottom you have regular fig. This also has cedar, Patchouli, so kind of similar to Philosophos. There's some similar notes here. But what I like about it, so it's kind of like similar. This is like a combination of both Philosophos and Fig Confit because at the, at the bottom, you have a candied fig note. So as this dries down, you start to get that candied fig note and it really goes from this dark green fig, uh, just, you know, sexy, sultry, almost like a nighttime like mm, fragrance where you're gonna you're gonna go out and you really want to make an impression it goes down into this kind of sweet candy fig so i think this is perfect for both men and women i think it really is a fragrance that works well with either one and i think both men will really like the opening and women will really like the kind of dry down because it goes a little bit more sweeter there um and men or women if you like it however you like your fragrances but that's it. This is, again, it's a, it's a new fragrance. It's out in the last year. And to me, it's a home run fragrance by Ubacant Paris. I think they really nailed it here. And like I said, it's one of my favorite additions to my collection. And it is now my favorite fig fragrance. Thank you guys. Uh, that's it for today's video. Let me know some of your favorite fig fragrances other than these, or if you love these, sure. I want to hear about that too. Love exploring and getting new stuff to smell for myself. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfume.